inspiration for going racing was um, watching it on TV and um, a local circuit, Alton Park, and we used to, me and Mum used to go and watch the bike, you know, British Super Bikes up there and I, was, I watched it and thought, oh, I'll have a go at that, it looks, <laughs> looks alright. I don't think there's anything that matches the TT, it's completely unique and it's just unbelievable, the, you know, the speed you're going around the circuit and everything flying past you and spectators are so close, you know, you can, you can see what the cool t-shirts are wearing as you're going past and the marshals are just there and there's curbs jumping out on you and walls and all sorts and hedges, just absolutely nothing like it at all. You hit, you're here for two weeks, you get, you know, you get a lot of track time and it's just fun, just unbelievably good fun, it's mega addictive. I think the technique's a little bit like uh, motocross, when you watch the motocross riders, you just sit back on the seat, get the front end nice and light and just let, let the front end skip and do whatever it's wanted but take all the bumps on the back. It's funny actually, the, fa the faster you go, the less scary it is, it's the slower you go and the more you load up the front, the, the more scary it gets. If I'm doing short circuit racing, some you need to attack, so you need to be fired up and you just need to be mega aggressive and go for it. But then other times i found if I do fire myself up and get really aggressive, I'm just erratic and then you end up going slower because you need to kind of be re relaxed and carry the speed and be fast. So it's kind of a balance between getting fired up and not getting too fired up and tense and stressed. I mean, once you're on the bike, the nerves go straight away. So it's just basically when you're sitting here, getting ready to go, or you're sitting up on the, on the road waiting to go. But when you're on the bike, it's just a grin factor. I think that is the appeal. The, um, just when you have Maybe not when you have a big moment, but when you have a, well, if you have a nice controlled moment or you do a massive wheelie and it's just really nice and lovely, and that's just the buzz. I mean, I, a little, I was like that a little bit on the road on my, when I was on my little 125, because I, I had a moment on, um, on a roundabout and I lost the front, but it, it saved itself, and I was like, yeah, that was ace. And I just gave it more, <laughs> gave it more throttle. <laughs> when I first started racing, I never really considered the female side of it at all. I just totally saw myself as another rider. I didn't even want people to look at me as another female, if you know what I mean, just another rider. And I didn't take that side on board at all. You know, a lot of people said to me, you've got to promote the female side. I mean, I, I, I feel quite uncomfortable promoting that side, but when you've got to get, you know, it's so expensive, you've got to get sponsors somehow, so I am female, so it's just, it speaks for itself. I don't have to promote it necessarily. I don't feel like I have to promote it anyway. So I just carry on, just another racer. I'd rather just go down that route. girls want to do it you know I remember my first ever race meeting I ever competed in was a race at Aintree in, in the back end of 1990 I thought I was Jack the Lad I was riding around the roads like a loony and my dad said to me got me by the scruff of the neck so we're going racing I went to Aintree I finished 27th and got beat by two girls one was called Liz Skinner and one was called Kate Parkinson who went on to do the Manx Grand Prix and, and the TT you know and Kate Parkinson was my teammate in 2000 my first ever 600 race I got beat by Liz Skinner uh, by uh, Sandra Barnett uh, she beat me on the 600, and then uh, you've got Jenny coming along, Maria Costello, an MBE, and you've got uh, you've got Jenny. You know, she looks a million dollars. She's good for the sport. She's safe. She's fast. You know, you come up behind her. She's not doing anything daft. She's nice and relaxed and smooth on the motorcycle. You know, she's uh, she's doing a good job. Yeah, it's really hard to compete really with you know the big teams and that, um, just budget-wise, machinery-wise. You know, they've obviously got all the new stuff. Um, can afford to replace the new stuff you know, when it's needed, whereas we'll kind of maybe stretch things out a little bit and just run what we've got. Um, obviously, again, there's only, there's only two of us in the team, it's just me and Steve, so we kind of do everything between us. It is hard, but um, I enjoy it, so I don't mind. <laughs> it's good. It's good fun.
very pointy, very precise. No gears to shift up or down. You hear all the noises of the car, which you're not used to in a racing car. You're more aware of all the environment than with a fuel engine car.